so minister uh, you have completed 7 years uh, at the helm of this ministry oh yeah and uh, what do you think if you look back uh, what have been the main uh, achievements and also the main challenges that you faced in this as a minister here achievement i created a ministry i created a ministry it involves that words involves every meaning now every indian all over the world he feels he believes there is a ministry and a minister to look after him that is one of the greatest achievement absolutely yeah and uh, but you also uh, had uh, you know uh, occasion to solve a lot of their problems you know for instance any i remember interventions in any uh, any problem they bring to my attention yeah. about the social problem or the with the government they uh, immediately we used to intervene there are different methods of intervention either to the ambassadors or to other methods we introduce and yeah. try to solve it mm -hmm. but we never <coughs> get involved in the internal administrative matters beyond a point yeah their uh, internal matters is concerned that they are a sovereign country has their own right at the same time when the citizens the indians the citizen of that country the indian origin persons have the racial problem or a social problem naturally it is the functioning of my minister to intervene with a diplomatic way and try to solve it and we do it yeah. i remember that uh, you had carried out a uh, lot of operations you know in in libya for instance during the war libya. we had to protect my people So, yeah, so, so can you can you talk a bit about that that operation uh, and you know also similar events you know for instance now with Saudi Arabia you're in dialogue with them with Qatar. With no, Libya there is a war problem yeah. over there. You know. Yeah, yeah, uh, internal crisis over there. That's the point. And uh, in the uh, Middle East, uh, for instance, uh, again it's been one of the focus areas of your ministry because the conditions of Indians has been uh, you know. Uh, a challenge over there and you have actually managed to improve so can you talk you know the, a bit about that you no know the gulf where the largest number of indians are in the gulf hmm. and there are uh, different categories the workers managers and the businessmen or the promoters a lot of things are there hmm. and it was a large number of agents are working in india also to send them but the agents made the fraud first i started checking on the agents they are the, they were playing the fraud yeah. on the poor people take money send them with a promise nothing available when they go there mm -hmm. it is the first uh, thing which i to first issue which i to deal with yeah so i to invoke the law and even went to the extent of arresting and prosecuting the agents to stop it as only way i could find it. stop mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then also i to tell the embassy to manage things one of the things in a fashion that the any issue of the overseas indians are coming in. and i am in touch with them when a complaint comes i send the complaint to them or ask them what is the reason why this mm -hmm. or i talk to them on telephone i talk to the complainant also on telephone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and make him happy to yeah. and hear him personally so today i got a grievance honestly i am not getting any phone calls <laughs> so that means job well done <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Now, uh, what about uh, other parts of the world? For instance, uh, what have been the major actions taken by your ministry in Europe, in in US? I think uh, social security agreements is one very important. Uh, social security agreement is one of the major initiative of the ministry, and uh, different governments in the broad, <coughs> they they also like it because this is a protection of the the individuals. You know, it is a security for them. Yeah. they we took initiative also and many governments are very cooperative also mm -hmm. and you look at america among the last number of indians are there and there is there are there are happy lot i should say so happy lot not much of problems True. and the majority of them are the citizens of that country mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we want to make them feel that india is their motherland yeah. so that's why we make uh, meetings and associations and recognizing mm -hmm. and all we are doing mm -hmm. and uh, the good relation with the ministry the europe is not that big the england yes uk is yes but other part of the uh, europe is mm. not that big because the indians are so limited yeah not in a large number True. the limited mm -hmm. and the and the migration to those areas also little difficult mm. you know that it is difficult True. so that is the point but you know the wherever in africa the other main attention have been Went to African countries. Yeah. 
there are many indian origin persons are there born and brought up there mm-hmm. and later migrated people also may be there so these people have uh, any problem and they used to be touch with me then i had to intervene i had to through the government side or this side and uh, now there is not no complaints are coming yeah. early but and also we advise our indian uh, persons also that no contact with the local people yeah that's very important. don't get into contact with the local people yeah. that is very not good mm-hmm. that is what it is uh, doing so generally speaking you look at the indian it is according sir uh, indian uh, indians who are <coughs> very large in number I look at the eastern part of the world yeah or uh, indonesia or the malaysia and all these areas also in all these areas the presence of the ministry was felt mm-hmm. one, of, one is my message and other is that my intervention the issues being raised by them okay and the local governments also had to accept the existence of the indian community mm-hmm. and to look at their issues okay. i said this is one of the issue which i could push through okay and i believe i could i, I never say 100% success but i could succeed to an extent president i think you're being very <laughs> humble there because you have done quite a bit uh what about women you have also done got a few initiatives for the women issue mainly be concerned on the or awareness campaign of the nra marriages mm-hmm. many complaints once upon a time were received that they being cheated married take them there and send them out yeah. so this i have to stop i tomorrow to make and made a campaign very very big impact of the campaign even some people complained to me in the us or somewhere i can't remember uh, yes they said why sir you are abusing us i said what i never abused no sir your advertisement your campaign mm. uh, regarding the uh, marriages i said yes so far you are happy marriage i had no problem mm. so when you try to make harass the women and send her out of the house yeah. the phrase is a problem for me and for the country so we don't want our indian women to be harassed mm. by the peer persons who come and marry and take them back yeah. because you are you are meant to be the citizen of the country sure. you are indian born but the citizen of other country so yeah. i don't want our women Yes. suffer like this that's only i take a very strong position but a campaign mm-hmm. but i believe i'm very happy to that the campaign has a very good impact okay. so now i believe that every family think twice before they fixing for a marriage this is my feeling okay so that that's very nice to hear the other part of uh, action with the women was i think uh, focus on the again on the middle east where women used to go and work as uh, work yes. yeah. that is now checked checked on the airport now we must set on regulations rules you cannot the women cannot go alone number one mm. go with husband or brother number two then we made rules and where are you going what is, is it in a profession what is it if the house paid then we made a lot of check in the airport okay it is not that easy to go as an housemate okay so it has made a difference there also ah, yeah, big difference big difference okay. very big difference there and i'm not uh, i went to for the places there not much of a complaint there's not much of a indian women there as house but also mm. they go from philippines and other places looks yeah. like that's true they from south east asia <coughs> uh what about the challenges i mean in the sense uh, you think that you could have done more some place uh, is there any issue where you think you could have done more or no there's not uh, uh, there are no challenges as such mm-hmm. what could have see the, whatever the issues developed and be intervened nothing more to be done means i am not encouraging or i am not uh, taking a leadership in migration no i am not mm. it's not my function also yeah that the other thing is concerned what uh, the, uh, the every country where the indian associations and indians are mm mm-hmm. in touch with but okay. more i can do i could do done the apart from the pravasi bharat divas mm. it is one of the get together yeah conclave and uh, there also i feel the representation was not enough this feeling many times developed but i what can i do i can only tell them letters association will be invited yeah. and this and that and through ambassadors mm-hmm. but in that respect i be, feel the indian embassies indian missions and ambassadors are to take more keen in i put it positive manner okay. uh, keen interest yeah. i'm afraid mm. that is not visible okay. some keen interest must be there otherwise they have to talk all the association at the meeting and persuade them to True. go yeah yeah that is not much there uh, maybe their own problems but 
they are in their initiative the indian missions initiative is one of the major mm. component of attracting more people absolutely yeah. that i i had to operate through them true that is the point uh, at at one point i think there was a proposal to have one officer in each major mission nominated as a ministries official is that happening or no only once uh, while running gulf for some uh, else. Okay. one in america also i believe okay. very difficult you, you, because you, that is a the dual a lot of problem the government also said no because they um, ma to agree mm. this is a conflict so i don't but, know but we have other ministries for instance for ministry of defense there is people posted over there for uh, that is all business uh, 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 commerce mm. and uh, business no but science and technology education huh? I mean, they have their own offices no no education i don't think anybody that no but nobody uh, as representing the education ministry i don't think so okay. i will will talk about that i, later I don't think so because what they can do what is it in paris for de- for dealing with unesco and uh, unesco that yeah. is the person to go to paris to deal with all the institutions that is the mm-hmm. different okay. but mine is and they are different yeah. and so we both are doing the same job uh then i mean you started by saying that you actually created the ministry so when you created the ministry and the kind of shape and form that you envisaged for the ministry you think it has reached that thing or there is still more things it to is develop? okay it is okay with the different staff and limited strength i could manage mm-hmm. i could manage, but it can't be did more visibility yeah through the indian missions mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but there is a dual authority come then so i i, I always keeping a one step backward i don't want to they, they are under the administrative control mm. of the foreign ministry True. and they are also dealing with the uh, countries or that countries uh, diplomatic activities mm. Mm. they are the thing meant for that yeah. my area is only the indian community there so the indian community look at the indian embassies indian missions mm. for anything they want any anything in distress anything in trouble True. they look at the indian embassies because they are a part of india there is indian territory mm-hmm. and he is the man there to look up the indians also the so apart from the diplomatic activity is a more other important work mm. he is the look up the indians especially in a large number certainly okay. so that that i could motivate the I, my intervention has made a kind of a thinking and a motivation among the ambassadors and the Indian missions. Yes, mm. we had to look after them also. So they're more responsive to us. They're making them. more responsive. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we are now uh, just three, four days before the regional PBD in, in Australia. This is the first time that this is happening in that part of the world. Would you like to talk a little bit about that? No, okay. That's only a PBD okay. in abroad. Okay. That is there. I give the freedom to them to fix the agenda. and uh, subjects also they can okay. raise mm. this is only to make the persons in that area yeah that part of the world there are many islands two islands and new zealand is there australia is there this can and these islands good number of indians are there two good number of, because it was a sea route for upon a time yeah go around so there are that is the fiji and uh, all these places a large number of indians so this and uh, they are not that big and rich enough to fly all the time too so i thought it is an opportunity for them to get together in sydney yeah. and uh, interact with each other that's why the uh, the importance exactly. of this importance of this pvd is that okay. so i'm also going yeah okay in australia uh, in the past not recently but in the past we've had some trouble between you know as far as the indian community is concerned there were some attacks on on indians and uh, that have been checked immediately we intervened and the government was very positive they immediately mm-hmm. checked everything. Okay, so that you do, you're not concerned about the safety of Indians over there. No? We are concerned it's, about the safety. That's no, in the sense, it's not uh, happening anymore. It, it's, it's it over. No, no more complaints. Yeah, that, that's my question. The the second question is about uh, the you mentioned the island Fiji. Uh, do you think the Indian government, not just your ministry, is doing enough to to cater to the aspirations of the Indian community in Fiji? Uh, I don't know exactly. I do. I cannot. Uh, and so i don't know what is indian government is doing my ministry intervene whenever they wants okay. to do something okay. but naturally the <coughs> the local governments and the mm-hmm. call, there's the largest number of indian community there are very good people yeah. yeah. there are the problems but we also very careful we don't want 
this kind of things can lead to a different situation so we are, government of india is very very carefully intervening over there okay but the government but uh, my feeling all the time the government of india or the foreign ministry has more attention to this kind of aid this areas where yeah. the islands countries or the yeah. areas where the indians are born and brought up generations mm-hmm. are there mm-hmm. so we have to apart from the diplomatic activity the government of india has to look at little more seriously on this okay that's the foreign ministry to do that yeah yeah uh, and then uh, <coughs> i would like to ask you about uh, this year's pvd happening in delhi this is going to be the seventh or eighth pvd under your seventh. under your chairmanship uh, what are the major issues on the table one is that you put the focus on the youth so what exactly do you expect to uh, to to bring from that and second would be this also being you know in the current term at least your your last pvd uh, what kind of mark would you like to leave what kind of stamp would you like to put no no that is um, uh, no i have nothing uh, no agenda have been fixed so far mm-hmm. number one okay. only thing is the youth pvd have been fixed yeah. and that process is going on mm-hmm. that first time we make it a, a only for the youth yeah and i make it uh, as a assist uh, as a, every year we can do it and put up in better is better we can do that so that's only one otherwise it is uh, nothing much uh, big Different. thing is going to come this pvd mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this pvd we want to get my, my first of all my attempt is to get maximum number of countries and association to participate yeah. number yeah. one mm-hmm. number two and they can have a free and frank discussion what they want the government of india to do okay as it is uh, not much of a thing has come so far so mm-hmm. we are no problem okay. so yeah so that is the point we have to make okay and for the youth uh, you said the focus is going to be on the youth so do you think the youth is connected adequately with india especially people who are born and brought up there second third uh, no, generation much, not much that's what the person the parents to bring them here and everything mm. i don't think it is uh, that way it have been connect connectivity is there mm. but not in a big way as we expect Yeah. that we have to introduce many things so first of all the education sector yeah open it for the indian born to indian original to yeah. origin students yeah. whether we can do so the different box field with the government of india has to make okay, a policy mm-hmm. separately yeah. that i see that at it to be okay you also setting up a university pi no, university no 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 next no, 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 no okay and <clears throat> finally said the situation with the nigerians you might have uh, followed the news that the nigerian and why in india has said that indians in nigeria will face problem because of what's happening in goa so is your ministry apprised of the matter and are you taking no no nothing is we are not in, uh, not not there is some report has come but we don't receive the report from the embassy or anybody okay uh, that that's so okay it happens hmm. but there is in nigeria there are also made some statement is uh, try to control the whole situation okay uh, that's my impression is got i cannot get any report from them okay